Hi, today I want to talk about some food pairings. In other words, what wine goes with what food. Let's, uh, let's uh, take the traditional ones. Okay, you serve red wine with red meat and white wine with white meat. That's fine as far as it goes, but it's not absolutely carbon stone. As much as I hate that phrase, it doesn't fly. There are some people who are just such purists, such traditionalists. Oh no, you can't have a steak with anything but a big, heavy, old Cabernet Sauvignon. That's not true. If you don't like Cabernet Sauvignon, don't drink it. You could have it with a lighter red, and there are some really big whites that would stand up to it. Uh, I, I personally wouldn't like it, but some people love Chardonnay with a big, juicy steak. So, in that case, these are wrong, but yeah, if you're, you're a white drinker, you can't drink red, and that's the case with some people too, that's just giving horrible headaches and things, then drink whites, yeah, by all means. The other one, drinking whites, only whites with seafood or white meat or chicken. Again, you can do that, but it's not hard in stone. Uh, definitely whites go well with seafood, and they can go well with chicken, but if you think about it, some of the best chicken dishes are done with red wine. I'm thinking in particular coco vin, which is the uh, dark meat of a chicken, and it's actually marinated and cooked in uh, red wine, Pinot Noir specifically. So there again, a pairing is actually counter tradition, but still is very, very traditional. So with that in mind, don't be afraid to experiment a little bit. Let's take some other ones now. Uh, kind of rules of thumb, if you are going to have a heavy meal, heavy dinner, heavy food item, you want kind of a big wine to go with it. Uh, again, like I said, if you're eating steak or roast beef or something with a lot of you know, gravy type things, or sauces that have you know, just really big food, you want a big wine. Otherwise, the food will have a pound wine. Similarly, if you're having light food, kind of like a um, so really light fish type thing, you don't want a big red wine because that would overpower it. So not a good pairing. You can go with a very light red wine or rosé. So those are the types of things you want to look for. If my food is this heavy, I want a wine that matches it. Food is really light, but you don't like wine to go with it. So, those are some of your rules of thumb. It doesn't really matter red or white, it's your balance of texture, your balance of mouthfeel. Heavy food, heavy wine, light food, light wine. Keep that in mind, and real in mind, and you should help quite a bit. Now, your other things to consider are the actual taste of the food. If you've got something that's a little bit more on the fruity, not fruity side, but the lighter fare, and it's uh, uh, you know, like pizza, for example. It's kind of got a mix of things on it. It's got some vegetables, some meat, some bread. That, you can go with a lighter wine. It actually has a sort of fruit-forward wine. Not a sweet one, necessarily. It's one that has a lot of flavor to it. So the flavor of the wine is complemented by the flavor of the food. Uh, again, pizza we're talking about here. But you don't want the food to overpower the wine. If you've got a real mild-tasting wine, you will, it'll taste like water or pizza. So you want something that's got its own flavor. It's something that doesn't really conflict with the food. Uh, another area to look at is spicy foods, particularly Asian foods. Now, a lot of times those go best with white wine. Um, it depends on what it is. But when you get something that's pretty spicy, I would look for a wine that's fairly high in acid, kind of like a Sauvignon Blanc or a Pinot Grigio. You can also find some very acidic reds. Um, Cote de Rome from France would be an example of that. Lots of acid there, don't digest. Some of the bigger reds might work too, depending on the specific Asian dishes you're dealing with. But if you're thinking spicy, you want something that's going to really cut through it, cut through that spice burn feeling, and a lot of times your acidic whites are the best for that. Now, uh, another area desserts. This is one that I find real interesting because you, know, you don't normally think of serving wine with dessert, but you can. One of the best wines really to serve though is the sparkling wine. Get a drier, fruit style sparkling wine, serve that with your desserts because the fruit is very, very dry and the effervescence of the bubbles will kind of offset the uh, lesser amount of flavor and kind of really perk it up. If you think about it, uh, winning cake and champagne, you know, how often have you seen those together? They work great. But uh, any type of a light sparkling wine with uh, you know, something like uh, strawberry shortcake, really good. Throw some blueberries in it. If, you wanna, if you're entertaining, you want to be decorative, and you're doing strawberry shortcake, for example, put a little piece of strawberry in the glass and then pour the sparkling wine over it. It adds a touch of flavor to the wine and makes it blend that much better. Cheeses. 
Now wine goes, just everybody knows, wine goes with cheese and pretty much different wines, different cheeses go better with one another. So it's kind of one of those experimental zones. So get some cheese, try different ones with different wines. You'll find some of the creamier ones tend to go a little bit better with your white wines, your sharper ones go a little better with um, your red wine. That's kind of either way. I mean, there's no hard and fast rules there. Now that kind of brings us to the final category, which I would call anything goes. And that's the one where you experiment. I have found some of the best combinations just by, I wonder what this would taste like with that. Sometimes they sound like they'd be so bad, but they turn out to be so good. An example of that is Sauvignon Blanc and Jalapenos. Who would have thought? But uh, give it a try. You know, experiment around, try different things on your own, and don't be too bound to the traditional red and white goes with this and that, and that's the only way to do it. So you give it a try and see what you think. So if you learned something from this video, just give me a thumbs up so I know I'm on the right track. And in the meantime, cheers, enjoy your wine.